Ah, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome to the part three. Welcome to Deathly Hollows. Let's hope this one has a little bit more substance than the last two, because they've been fun. It's just the fact that I'm doing them technically post-game that they're not the most difficult, despite the fact that they scale up to your level, and I'm not really complaining. I know there's going to be more. This is probably going to most assuredly be more challenging fights, but eh. Anyway, from last time, we've solved our amazingly obnoxious problem of requiring Natalie, Anna, and Lance in every fight. Now we only have to worry about having Lance and Anna in the same fight. Oh boy, I'm so excited. At least this team in particular can handle AoE and hallway fights, but ugh. Yeah, all right, enough, enough rambling about stupid, dumb nonsense. Hmm? Let's get straight into it. Start grinding our way through this next good old fashioned premium dungeon. I don't really got, I don't really got much to us to say. It's uh, the Deathly Hollows. It's uh, marginally a spooky area, and there's voodoo dolls. There have been spooky er areas, but I mean, I don't know what else you could, could you want. I mean, I, I have everything like right up here. This area is pretty standard. It's not as cool as the sick maze we just went through. And at least Frost Flame had some, like, notable and, like, qualities. But this one, this is just like, hey, we're in a cave for right now. I mean, there are some spooky eyes. That's, that's definitely a factor going in its favor, but, you know. Okay. Tackle these stupid hallway fights. This one's probably going to be more of a standard dungeon, I would assume. Both the other two have had some kind of a gimmick. So, well, maybe this one will also have some kind of a gimmick. Who really knows? Maybe the gimmick is going to be a bunch of voodoo dolls and mirrors. Maybe. Luckily not. Thank you. God, I fuck reflecting enemies. I mean, they're a fun concept. It's nice to have a variety, but oh, sometimes they're such just such a pain in the dick. Sometimes, holy shit. Sometimes you gotta put your foot down and say, I don't want to deal with this today. Sometimes you gotta take a step back and say, fuck, oh, just fuck these guys, man. That's just, that's what you gotta say. You gotta feel that one right up in your bones. <sighs> Alright, you know what? We've had enough Anna and Lance fun times for this fight. We're dying, we need to fix it, and so I'm gonna fix it. Not everything can be perfect. Sometimes we gotta get our hands dirty and change up the rules sometime. Yeah. Alright, enough uh, enough big old mutant boys. It's probably gonna be the last turn with Matt. He's getting re his accuracy is currently hitting the potatoes. <laughs> yeah, minus 20% accuracy. Yeah, just obnoxious enough for me to say probably gonna want to tag him out. Probably, maybe. Uh yeah, we can have No Legs take his spot, and Anna can come back, I guess. It's not the best, but it's technically not the worst, either. Holy Fire and Earth. Sure do, sure do am glad that I can speak English, and that No Legs doesn't have most of those elements. I'm surprised he doesn't have fire. Everyone's got fire. Except for, like, Anna. I had to give her a fire ability, but... Man, I'm, I could still be upset about it, man. Okay, so technically everyone doesn't have fire, but, uh, shut your face. It's not important. Let's hope these damned hallway fights can at least be marginally fast, because... Assuming the pattern that we've been going on, we're probably going to fight the, another boss super form. We're going to have another boss refight. Then I'm going to need a catch, and we're going to have a rather lackluster time. But embrace it, because it's happening. There's also that, but I want to heal first. Oh. What's this? Oh, okay, great. 
But is this, uh, is this what we're doing in this place? Is this our gimmick for today? Okay, I guess I, I guess I can come down here. Oh. Yeah, right, I'm not complaining. Sure, I'll take another bow. Just put, sh shove points into that, okay. Can't say that's not what I was expecting, but I'm not gonna be opposed to it, apparently. All right. We come over here. Yeah, all right, we need two more fights. Okay. <clears throat> Let's just start tackling them straight on. Okay. Just bring back out Matt. Matt solves a lot of our problems. And actually, alternatively, let's go. Actually, no, they'd probably be a lot of undead enemies. They're probably going to be resistant or absorbing of dark. Aw, oh, damn it. The Soul Eater's such a better sword for hallway fights. I mean, I like the Berserker. It's a fine sword, or whatever it's called. I don't actually remember. But. It just doesn't really work when they all absorb the one element the sword has in abundance. It also has murder in general as its element. Murder is a pretty good element, if I'm going to say. Just a liberal application of violence solves a lot of your elemental problems. And we're doomed. Ooh, boy. Ain't that exciting. And we have a mammoth and a little bit of slowdown. Ain't that exciting? Oh, yeah. Holy, yeah, all right, holy works. At least he was actually being a responsible adult this time and hit multiple things instead of the top one twice. I suppose it didn't really matter because it would have killed either one. But. Uh, okay, we have four turns left to live, supposedly. So hopefully this will go well. I wish my, my webcam was a little bit more zoomed out. I mean, I can't really push it any further away or else it would be just not... I don't have room for it anywhere else. There's nowhere else that's elevated. Because I can't, I can't do my wildly flailing hand gestures too efficiently. You found me in my minor inconveniences. So the big fun thing about slimes is they're typically very weak to instant death. Which means, okay, apparently that doesn't happen. Huh. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna shut my mouth. Just, uh, just take note that I did, in fact, say something, but whatever I said wasn't important. Because here we are. Yeah, I'll just use bomb. That works. Boop. <sighs> oh, hey, he's using the, uh, ice, the dagger version of one of Matt's swords. Neat. Oh, ain't that uh, quinky dink? Boop. And then we come here, and then we very, very violently boop. Oh boy. And we just do this again, because we're pretty much gonna die. And then hopefully by next turn, the shredder will actually instant kill the boss, because if not, Anna may die. But it doesn't matter, because I don't get experience anyway, so who cares? She can die for all I care. Hope oh, this hits. Oh, that did. Didn't even do nearly as much damage as I needed it to. She's probably gonna die. And that's not really my problem. Yeah, oh, bye. And welcome back. See why? You see why I don't even gotta concern yourself? When death is a curable status ailment, I don't know what struggles you're gonna have in life anymore, because you can't die. So things will eventually, statistically, things will eventually get better for you. Alright. And then if you wanted to be nihilistic about it, you could also say, statistically, things will then eventually afterwards get worse again if you can't die. So, maybe hold back on the nihilism. Hmm? I don't need any of you people being all mopey in my chat. What do you guys weak to? Ice and bomb. All right, bomb works. Let's hope I can catch one of these things. Yeah, that'll do it. 
He's a one of those mysterious enemies. Because I had every enemy caught. He's one of those mysterious enemies I threw into a... Uh, a weapon. So now it's a post ore. I already, I already caught this thing. I would assume it's in uh, Anna's bow right now, actually. I could see a Paradox Ore going into that thing. You're just, you're just throwing ore. Oh, then they get a turn, too? Oh, of course. Why wouldn't they? Oh, that's fair. Mm, yeah, oh, no, give, give them more turns, of course. Give them, give them a total of ten turns. Welcome to game design. Welcome to balance. Oh, boy. I mean, luckily these aren't two threatening enemies, but they effectively got half my HP and a free kill off on me, which is a little bit really obnoxious. Okay, then. Maybe calm that aspect of these fights down a little bit, hmm? I mean, it's a fine gimmick to have all five enemies be like a suicide enemy, so the challenge becomes to survive the next turn, but... And then you, then you give the next turn of enemies a turn, and there are more suicide enemies inside of them? Okay. Whoa. Maybe hold your horses just a touch. Who can really say? Oh, uh, that's classy. And then, um... Uh, yeah, just, uh, just shoot him with a gun. Not your gun. No, you need big guns. You need the violent, violent, violent guns. You gotta say violent twice to really get the point across just how violent they actually are. I'll see. Just kill, kill, uh, kill Lance too. That's fine. No, I wanted it. Thanks. Oh, there's three waves. I actually need to worry about Lance dying. Oh. Damn it! I was just throwing cooldowns at this man. Okay, okay, these men. Sorry, there's multiple. I was just throwing cooldowns at these dudes. But there's another wave I have to concern myself with. Fantastic. Well, they're not resistant to fire, I guess. Yeah, it wasn't great, but they're leaving anyway, so it it's not like I give a shit. Oh, great! Fuck, get reflective enemies, fuck. Actually, now that we can just immediately leave this area with no concerns, because I effectively have a fast travel shortcut back to where I am right now, I'm going to go back and check the fortune teller man to see if I'm done with the Lana and Lana. Honestly, that works. The Lana combo. God, it sounds like one of those fucking, like... Celebrity like name mashup or like shipping bullshit name combos for like a relationship. I don't know, man. I don't know what you call those things, and I don't really want to know what the answer is. So it doesn't concern me. So that's the answer. Oh. It actually works on multiple levels if I'm going to keep continue to just dig myself deeper into this hole. Because it's Lance, L-A-N, and Anna is A-N, so L-A-N just kind of... It works on two, two levels. The A-N is consistent for both, so it's Lan, Na, or L-Anna. Oh, ho. It's, uh, th that is officially the worst ship, though, for any of you people who care. Lance is a strong, independent man who don't need no anybody else. He's the best character, and all of these people are degenerates, and he does not deserve to be restricted. Alright, there we go. Get that madness. Oh, dude. Okay, you know, on the topic of those statues, so those statues are a reference to an old Newgrounds flash called the Madness Combat series. Just today... June, January, is it January? Is that the first month, or am I being, like, actually mentally deficient right now? Let me check. I, yeah, it's, it's January. Okay, I'm glad I didn't forget the month. January 8th, 2019. After however many years, the next episode of the Madness Combat came out. Episode 11. And it 
has actually been years. Oh, and it's so good. I've already seen it. Oh. oh. My childhood came rushing back. I remember watching those when I was in like fucking middle school. And yet here we are. Many a year later. And it's still being uploaded. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's quality. Mm. I don't know what I'm trying to check here. Apparently I'm checking something. I have killed 122 ex enemies. I don't know what they mean, execute. Is that instant death? Probably. Whatever. Hello, lady. Okay. Oh, her name is actually just Goner. The next person she meets can explain it to her. Oh, there's that. There's that skull face again. Is this a mimic? No, it's not a mimic. I didn't see it. I was actually like going slow through that chat just to see if it was juking or jiving in any regard, but... Oh! I didn't... I didn't know this was under here. I was checking this box. I didn't even know you couldn't walk here. So... Apparently, I am actually the best treasure hunter in the land, because I just instinctively just sought that shit right the fuck out. Yes, I am actually a master. Uh, okay, I need to put feces right here. All right, fantastic. Who's asking for shit? Are you gonna be a demon? Are you? Are you another one of those demons? I don't. He actually was a demon. I fucking knew it. Don't think you can. I want to go into this door, man. Okay, who do I want to fight first? Uh, I'm full HP. Let's go fight the stupid voodoo reflective enemy and just get it out of the way. These dudes are always infuriating, so... I don't have to use Lance and Hedda anymore. Thank you. Yeah, Dark doesn't work. In I'm just going to unequip this sword. If all honesty, I hate the fact that it decreases his accuracy. I'm much more like Soul Eater. It's like, it decreases defense so he dies real fast, but at least he can still apply that damage. Berserker's nice and all, and the counter with revenge, mmm, that's so nice, but we're gonna go back to the chopper. So good for general skills, plus instant death benefits, who knows? Ah, uh, kill Matt, because he's a dick. Actually, now that I remembered, Lance actually, the Lance doll is a healer, so that's not great. Uh, just, just get him with a general AoE fiery goodness. Why not? We may die to the ores, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Oh, apparently he can do that too. Fantastic. Do not kill me, please. Thank you. Thank you! No, don't kill Don't, God damn it! Fucking burns, a son of a bitch! Well, actually, now it's a freebie to just slap this man in the face. I mean, Lance is dead, so it's not like he can take more damage. Unless it's going to horribly disfigure his corpse to the point where I can't resurrect him. But I don't think this game's quite that advanced. So I'm going to kind of ignore that possibility and just hope for the best. Okay, bye. Well, I couldn't heal you anyway, so... Welcome back. Maybe I should have done what I did before and actually kill this guy. Oh, he's surrendering, so I guess I'll just buff. It's not not the worst option. Bunch of slimes. Okay. If you insist. What? Oh, thank you. I forgot, slime bunnies typically just do good things for you. That's the reason why they're the full heal thing you see around the world. You typically will find slime bunnies in buckets or bodies of water, and they'll fully heal you. Because they're helpless. And now they're gonna die, because technically you're on the enemy's side of the field and it need to die. I don't make the rules, I'm sorry. I'm just the one enforcing upon the systems that I have been handed. 
just because you're in the wrong place at the wrong time and I need to kick your teeth in, that's not my concern. Maybe don't be there next time, hmm? Go with your water bucket, buddies. I'm so upset about today's generation of slime bunnies. They've been hanging out with the wrong crowd. It's a darn shame. Okay. Ah, uh, man, I kind of forget. I every time I'm like, man, I just remembered that Anna can cheese pretty much most enemies. Are they weak to ice? Even are they if they're resistant to being frozen? If the answer is yes, we're fine. It doesn't matter. He will freeze anyone, no problem. Boom. Boop. See what I mean? We can just kind of cheese for most fights like this. Anna effectively makes it so one dude is completely irrelevant every single fight. This is why I have her equipped with this bow. It increases the chance she inflicts status ailments and freezes the status ailment, so let's just make it as consistent as humanly possible because her single target status ailment arrows are already really consistent. So we just really make it so there's almost no luck. Oh, puzzles. Why, is there, why are there spikes here? Oh, okay. Let's just undo what I just did. And then we... I mean, I guess. I can't get down there, though. There's no way... You have to end it over here, because there's no way to get back up. As this is all boxed in. So you have to end the puzzle right there. Okay. You also need to end it right here. Oh, not necessarily. Oh ho ho! Didn't even see this. Hey. Cutter. Maybe a reference to something. Most of these are probably a reference to something. I'm not certain about it, though. Um... This doesn't get me anywhere. Well, oh, I mean, not necessarily. I guess we can... Do this, maybe? No, that doesn't do anything for me, because, again, I have to end this fucking thing like this. It's like, th this, I can't do anything from this spot. Oh, you can start it from over here. Oh! Then that's probably how... God damn it. That's probably how you're going to want to do it then, you know? Just because that's kind of a freebie. You'd want to start it from here. Because you can go... Wait, no, you don't want to start it from there. Wait. What? How the fuck did I do this before? Maybe you need to... Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's a way to... Oh, you guess you could do it. I guess you could do it like this, and I could not be a jackass. How about that? I always forget you can double back on these things. Oh shit! I shouldn't have done that. Cause then I'd need to. Uh... I mean, maybe. Then again, this is me trying to solve a puzzle, so. Me and puzzles are very hands-on rather than forethought. Is that good? Well, uh, maybe. I'm not really gonna concern myself with it too much. We're just gonna tackle it head on and see where it gets us. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Because it's like... Maybe actually. Maybe not. No. No, it's not gonna work. Damn it. Because it's I have the choice. Do I go left and get these three? Or do I go down and miss out anyway? So it's like... And even then, like, like look at this. Alright. Start it over then. Okay. 
I do like this start, though. This is a very, very, at least, general start. It seems pretty all right. Again, I think this would be right. If this isn't, if I can't do it off this one, I'll try another set of solutions. I'll try starting somewhere else, because technically you can just start wherever the fuck you want, you know? I don't know if this is gonna work. What are you fucking, Matt? God damn it. Auto walking, son of a bitch. I'm not, I'm not count. That one didn't count. Basic ass walking is the biggest problem to me. It's what I get for using auto walk, I guess. There's no reason not to throw this switch, so. Maybe? I mean. No. You'd have to... Uh, maybe. No. I can't get all of these. Like, me walking down is body blocking myself. That's not gonna work. Let's just let's just start it from here and not try to worry about this. I don't know if you have... Do you have to have the stepladder by this point? Yes, you do. You actually get the raft, and so by that point you have the stepladder. And you can't start it from over here, so... Because it's like, it's just how the nature of this is. This is a 4x4 four four square. You can't, like, do this without doubling back. I mean, unless you did something like this, but... I don't know, maybe. And then, in this case, you'd have to end it here. And that's not gonna work. Because, I mean, look at this. I mean, yeah, I can... I can get this entire half of the map. But then it's like, once you get here, you're dead. Because, like, I, I mean, I can do all this, even still, but... Ah, there's still this damned sliver left. We're almost done. We're almost there. I'll try this side again. Just, I mean, might as well. I think this is the most difficult of all of these puzzles, because I really do not like the fact that you can just fucking double back onto some of these tiles. Yeah, I'm in the same fucking snafu I was in before, where you gotta decide which one you want to, which part of this you want to solve. Hmm. Maybe I could start it from right here, who knows? Well, we need to swap this first, if that's the case. Then you just... You need to end it there, then, and then you can't double back. So that's not gonna work. Oh, you're a bastard, I'll tell you that right now, Mr. Puzzle Man, because you can see you're already fucked up here. Maybe right here, let's see. No. Maybe. Maybe. This gives me a way back. But then again, this is a fucking big-ass dead end. You can't get out of this area. I mean, there's this. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, there's nothing along the outside. Oh, maybe. No, nope, can't walk there. Okay, never mind. Damn it. Well, I mean, I think it would be the safest bet to start here, because this is the area you have to either start or end it off on, because it's a big chokehold. You cannot get out of this area otherwise, but it's just like... Okay, if I go this way, come in here, do, 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 and then you can't do it. So I would have to, the going this way is death. Up is death. So I have to go this way. Then I can come down here, 
and then I can either go left to get this area, and then I lose because I can't get back over here. I can come down to get this area, and then I lose because I can't get back over here. So this whole middle area is a bitch to get. You can get both sides, but not the middle. And, like, you can't get to the either side is the problem. There's always a sliver you're missing. See, like, look at this. You just... It doesn't work. I'm gonna try it from the start, because I don't know if they were gonna go for that complicated of a puzzle. But, you never know. Okay, let me see something here. Yeah, you can't... You can't double back like that. So let me try it like this. Swap that. Come over here. Okay, here, is that it? That's it! Oh, wow, that one took me longer than normal. That one was the hardest one thus far. Hey, there's the puppy hat, and it improves the chance of catching foes. Of course it does. Oh boy. Ah, it's coconut gun. It can fire in spurts. It can also make you shoot yourself. That's that's uh unintended side effect. Okay, no more puzzles. No more puzzles for right now. Now we need now we need like a pace breaker. We've had our puzzles, and now is the time for action. Now is the time for excitement. So now is the time for us to do more shitty hallway fights that take forever, and then aren't actually that exciting. I don't think me just sitting down and trying to solve a puzzle is very exciting, but I don't know what people watch nowadays, man. I don't know what those kitties are all into. Ugh. Oh, that's a bunch of air. Caught right up in my, my ghibli bits. Okay, stop that. Ugh. Okay. This is another one of those three-wave, really fun fights. Okay. Maybe you can fuck off a little bit with three waves. Maybe just a touch. We've had too many of them already. We've had, I think this is, either the, this is the second one, but all of the fights have either been two or three waves. Maybe we can calm down with them. Thus far, the first dungeon's been great because, I mean, there were two, like, five waves, but there was a total of, like, four fights in the whole dungeon. The second dungeon had, like, two fights that were, two or three fights that were mandatory, and then the boss. Except that one was all about exploration. The first one was a cluster of enemies, and then the second one was exploring. Why is this one, do you like fighting enemies for a long time without any actual challenge? I don't, I do not like these games. I do not like them. They upset me. You see, like, these enemies, they are not threatening. They just take time to kill. And yes, I am a clan. Let me actually, like, move this down then. Yeah, you, you, you embrace that wind you're hearing. Yeah, uh, that'll work a bit better. Now you can see me, kinda. It's my back hurts right now, and I don't want to sit up, so... That's just too damn bad. Throw a sword at him. Throw some saw blades at him. I don't, I don't think you could actually throw a saw... No, okay, no. You could throw a saw blade and kill someone. I'm saying for it to get enough force to just slice through a person and the dirt like they are. You can't really throw those. Then then you're running into some logistic problems. Not just anyone can get that amount of force. Stop hitting the frost rates. I kind of thought that was the electric one for some reason. Their icons are a little bit too similar. Just a touch. I even knew it was holy. I clicked it assuming. You could say partially that's me for being a jackass, and I mean, you'd be right. But at the same time, I like to say I'm not that stupid. 
and am instead only marginally retarded. Doesn't have anything to do with the whole holy and electric thing. I'm just saying I'm stupid. But I don't know where I was going with this. I kind of just insulted myself. Well, I can't really say I'm wrong. Ho ho. Ugh. All right. I'm done with you, sexy shit. Get out of here. Get out of here, you little cheeky pieces of garbage. And now there's some fucking bears. Not again. We had enough with the bears in the main story. No more bears. Bears are now illegal. It is illegal to be bear. This includes bear and bear. So neither of them. I poison you guys. Well, I mean, I can. It's not the best option, but it's not really a terrible option either, I guess. So, let's just go for it. Oh, that works. Oh, yeah, that makes my life a little bit easier. Maybe I'll be accepting of bears if this becomes a pattern. <laughs> and bears don't mix. They're touch unbearable. I feel like those kind of bear points are really on the money, and I'm very sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey. No, I will not apologize. I am going down with this ship. I will die. I will die to the death defending these things. These bearable puns. <laughs> no, these ones are the lowest common denominator. Bear puns are easy mode. These are like baby's first pun. And I apologize. I mean, I guess the only one that would be even more basic is making puns around the word pun. Uh, it's real punny. Oh, sorry for the punishment. But, I don't know. I find bear to be ridiculously easy. Right, give me all my steroids. Give me all my garbage, sugary foods that I can force feed myself and make me want to die. That like vague attempt at my own life that makes me stronger. All right. Just, what? Okay. What? Okay. I want to see what this says. There better be a good reason for collecting these. Oh uh, yeah. Just, just put that like right there. Where does that go in my inventory? Actually, I want to see. I like to see my inventory with all key items. Oh, great. Fantastic. Ugh. When are we gonna get these last three skills? We have all the over limits, we just don't have all the skills. Those had best not be seasonal. Or I'm gonna be just the slightest bit cheese. Because Surprise Present is technically a seasonal skill. And I don't have Surprise Present, despite the fact that I played when Christmas was a thing. So, I know that's not one of them. I'm just wondering why are there are three empty slots. And why is it so upsetting to me? I know why it's so upsetting, because it means I'm not done yet. I don't have all my options. I'm not playing the game right. It'd be fine if it was a weapon. I'm fine with having, like, dead weapons. You collect them pretty regularly throughout the game. But skills? No, skills are special. Skills increase your options, making life easier as a whole. But not weapons. Weapons just give you more options. Does actually have a wind attack. Yeah, it worked. It wasn't exactly eloquent or anything too fancy, but yeah, I got the job done. What are you doing? Oh. God, who the fuck dispelled me? Which one of you bastards did it? Slice up the middle. I'm so yawny today. Don't yawn, kids. I wouldn't recommend it. Alright, let's get some buffs going, because these dudes are going to surrender anyway. Might as well just suit Matt up real hard and get him prepared for the endless onslaught of blood and gore that he's going to have to grind through here in like two seconds. 
Yeah, there's some bears. Yeah, he's gonna definitely have to get hands on right into them bear guts. Don't die, please. Please. Oh, he's targeted. That's right. Maybe I should have either cleansed that or healed him or given him auto revive. But instead, I decided to buff him, and now there goes those two turns. Oops. Well, hmm, yawning aside, I think that's uh, that's it for Matt for today. Looks like he's just straight up dead to rights. So we're going to have to bring in the actual important party member, the less important party member of Anna. Hey, welcome back. Let's just, you guys like being stunned? Oh, that I am so, so sorry. Oh, that was holy. God damn it. This fuck, it got me again. I thought it was like, oh, I didn't use this one. This is the one I didn't use because it's not on the quick select menu. And then I clicked the wrong one anyway. <sighs> Caution, slow children walking. Streaming instead of walking, and then you got me right now. You also got, I'm too yawny. I need to sit up. Back pain be damned. I'll don't also fall out of the chair. So don't drop things on the fucking floor. All of these are very important. Here, let me just, let me just check something. Someone fucking messaged me on a goddamn fuck off. There we go. Get out of your Discord, you bastard. Normally I put that on the left monitor, but I forgot. No hiccup. Oh. Oh, that's another air bubble. Normally I put Discord on the left monitor, but I forgot this type. It's all so a bit. <laughs> no more hiccups. Bad. Now use the electric one, please. Thank you. Yeah, just just stun lock that one. That's fine. There we go. Now they're all sitting up. Maybe the yawns and the hiccups and the... Oh, boy. Maybe all that will stop happening now, preferably. Thank you, and good night. Please instantly kill one of them, Mr. Shredder. It's all I ask. Luckily, we have so much poison. These dudes are pretty much just dead, like, right now. So that's at least this one done with. One and done. Then the rest of the other one's just gonna be stun locked forever, so. Hey, you know what? Let's risk it. Maybe I'll be lucky and get neither. Of course. Bye. Welcome back. Dead. Video games are hard. God, even when I'm sitting up, I cannot stop yawning right now, dude. I got a problem. I'm sorry. I, I can stop anytime I want to. I just don't want to. Oh, yeah, that's a dirty, dirty, dirty full face lie. I can't actually stop yawning, but and I want to. Ooh, a mimic. Ooh, a block pushing puzzle. Put that bacon in my face. Up my physical power. God damn it, I got another fucking fight! Stop throwing enemies in my way! Why does it say exit? Is that actually the exit? Fuck it! Three ways, fuck off! I don't want to do all this shit! <sighs> we already had three waves. We've already done the three wave fights. Go away! Oh, I'm not gonna have fun with the Red Pine and Beyond optional premium fun time dungeons if they're already throwing regular three wave enemies my way in here it's the worst design of this game uh debatably this game's had a lot of slight problems I mean, they're problems that are really compounded upon the fact that i'm playing on the hardest difficulty but they're problems nonetheless i mean get me started on the fact that that epic difficulty is inherently flawed by just cranking up numbers and HP rather than anything actually quantifying a meaningful difficulty change. Hey. But I've bitched about those things enough, so I shall hold my tongue for now. But just know that pain has not ceased. 
and I will always remember. I'm getting real lucky with this electricity cheese. It's a good time. Oh, great. Yeah, mm -hmm. perfect. Thanks. Well, I mean, here. I mean, I get a free turn because he's stunned and surrendering, so I might as well. <laughs> this dude doesn't get a say in how he's going to die at all. He gets to watch as I slowly and ever so patiently grind his bones to dust. Very methodical process. Cease the yawning. I'm not even tired, is it the thing? Got a good night of sleep last night? It's the middle of the day. Okay, it's four. It's getting getting close-ish to the end of the day. And we're, we're at least getting into the ballpark. We're in the we're in the eve of the day. We're not technically like end of the day. But I'm yawn. I, I don't know, man. I'm just always a yawny person. Once I start yawning, which occasionally starts happening at work, oh, it's over. I'm never gonna stop. You're gonna have to like rend my head from my body if you wish that to stop. Oh, there they go again. Okay. I guess. I don't know, when you're just standing there not doing anything during work, you kind of... Your mind starts to wander and your body starts being like, Okay, I guess it's time to start being sleepy. But, I, but I'm not, though. I'm just, I'm just yawning. Maybe we can have some restraint when it comes to how much I'm yawning, body. But no! Instead, you like to go full force Rambo and just face first into this. You like to fully embrace. You got a full Nelson going on with the yawning concept. It may or may not be fuck buddies. They're all bastards. Look at that thunk. That's a big meaty thunk sound effect. Now that's a coconut gun. <sighs> Welcome to the yawn episode. And I'm going to keep bringing it up. I'm not going to stop. Yeah, I'm going to ruin the rest of the episode by doing this. Maybe I will stop. Maybe I'll stop immediately after I stop talking. But the problem is that I never stop talking. So I'm probably not going to keep bringing it up. About it, because in all honesty, even I'm getting kind of tired of it. So, <sighs> all right, you win this time. You can get uh, you can get out of your punishment this time. For I am a generous man. You can understand when I've gone too far sometimes, but only sometimes. Don't ever tell me I never did anything for you. And just like that, we're finally done with another three-wave fight. I mean, the puzzle did take like a good... He took like a good couple minutes for me to solve that first puzzle. But the rest of it was like, fuck it, just so many fights. <sighs> Can I push this? That I can. So that tells me to do this. Oh. Cheeky cheeky. There's also this right here. Oh ho ho ho. So we come here and we push. And we come here and we push. And then we come over here. And we push. Push 
down, push down. There we go. You have to show a little bit of restraint when doing those. Please don't be another mimic when I do a puzzle. Thank you! The Golden Axe. I wonder what that could be a reference to. It's, an, it's, a, it's a reference to some kind of game. I just... I can't remember the title. It's probably not actually a reference to Golden Axe. But it's probably also a reference to Golden Axe. So, I don't know, man. I'm not exactly an expert in, like, the whole video game thing. So maybe. Who really knows? No one. Not even the creator would know. He just threw it in there. It's like, all right, someone will find some kind of beating at this, right? Oh, okay, I guess I'm back now. Oh, that's in case you make the puzzle unsolvable. Ah, makes sense. All right, two more to go. Damn fights everywhere. Please tell me this other one's not a three wave. I hate three waves. At least two waves are two waves are better. Give me a two wave with a tanky enemy rather than give me three waves. Thank you. So much better. I'm equipping no legs back with his insta kill gear just to maybe cheese a fight or two. Because instant death does not happen enough for me to rely on it without him also like throwing his hat in this RNG ring. And you wonder why I had all of the things involving Lance, Natalie, and Anna not being together. Look at this team I have out front. This is the team I always have out for hallway fights that annoy me. This is the one who deals with everything. And then you'd send in Anna or Natalie as needed, rather than using them for standard appliances. And you use Natalie with no legs and, to, with, and Matt to deal with the rest of them. Okay, there's no point in buffing because of the damn stormy weather. So just just hit them, like, a lot. <sighs> you damned bastards. I'll get you yet. Think not for that you have escaped. The reckoning comes. There is no escape. Oh, you're getting the Terra Drill, Giga Drill, whatever. What is this called? Giga Drill. You're getting Drill Drill. Bam. That one in particular gets no escape. You'll get no sympathy from me. Damn. Oh, it's harder than I was thinking. Not expect him to slap that first thorny, thorny creep so hard he nearly killed the second one. See, this is the kind of fight I can see Anna coming in for. Because I just want to lock down one of the mutant chompers. They're so tanky and they heal themselves. It's just like, yeah, I could most assuredly see that. I'll have to recatch a mutant chomper too, don't I? I should probably go through and catch as many enemies as I've already thrown into the pot of degeneracy that is all of the weapons that I've upgraded, but I'll probably just do that off screen. Maybe eventually if I ever remember to. Oops. Yeah, all right, what are you guys weak to? You don't care about either, so... Any of these have a higher chance? 120, 120? No, they're exactly the same. This is higher base damage. Boop! We're gonna lock him down then. He has a uh, higher HP anyway. Nice, slow down. Nice, nice. Okay. I also specifically want to use stun because freeze can be broken by my other nonsense abilities, so... You gotta be careful about that, otherwise I'd have to specifically go out of my way to swap turns so Anna goes last. But with this, this kind of solves the problem. Sometimes you really gotta put your foot down and say no to the enemies. No, you aren't allowed to have fun. This is my game. I get to have fun. 
fun is for the player, not for random Joe Schmo enemies. And now you're dead. Look what you did. Think about what you've done. As your friend gets stunlocked to death. See, this is why I'd rather have a uh, fight with a tanky enemy rather than multiple waves. Because you can just cheese a lot of the enemies, meaning all these enemies aren't difficult. They're just time consuming. It's just that it's a time investment rather than a, a like an effort investment. All right, here we go. Ah, <sighs> hello. Oh. We got a... We got a puzzle. Hey, okay. Okay. All right. Okay. I didn't... I didn't do anything, though. It's like boop, 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 boop. Is that it? Is they're all like... They're all like pointing at each other. Yeah. I did... I mean, I did it. Is this... Not right. Maybe I'm. Maybe I gotta like point at the two skulls. Do like uh, get him with the big old side diamond. It's a side diamond. I was right. Uh, I am a master of puzzles, as you can tell. Take notes from me, baby. That's how you end fights as well as do puzzles. I got it all. I know. I'm everything you could ever want. Wonderful is now hosting, you delectable son of a bitch. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have used the term delectable. Even I'm like, oh, Christ. Uh, that's, that's, that's fucked. Never mind. Maybe, maybe you shouldn't be hosting me. Even I'm regretting this decision. But anyway, welcome to... We're effectively grinding down premium content for this game. And we're grinding down a bunch of annoying... Sons of bitches. Because this is more of a time investment. Right now we're solving puzzles and trying to get to our next optional super boss refight. It's one of the bosses throughout the main story. We're refighting them. I'm going to assume it's the third boss because this is the third premium dungeon. So... We'll get there when we get there, but right now we have to deal with all these level scaled up enemies that kind of just take forever to fight. Just kind of got to got to sit back and grab a bowl of popcorn or something. This though this far this has been the worst of the three premium dungeons. One of them was like a mosh pit. It was it was like five rooms in total and that was it. And it was like four enemies, but there was like a lot of enemies in each one, making them a really long war of attrition, and the other one was a massive labyrinth maze son of a gun, so it was all about exploring. This one is just fight enemies, like a lot of them. It's not as entertaining as the first one. The first one was like an actual somewhat of a challenge, because there's five waves of decently tanky enemies. This one is, there's just a lot, but they're not like one after the another, so you just have to grind through each one. Making this a little bit more tedious than I'd much rather prefer. But here we are. You can only imagine this is probably even less interesting to watch rather than it is to play, because now we have healing enemies. The mutant chompers, really tanky enemies, plus they can heal themselves. The red creeps heal other enemies. It's just like, God, fucking God damn it, man. It's not even like the gimmick of this dungeon is, oh, the enemies heal themselves. No, this is just one fight. We're just here doing this now. Hey. At least we can stun lock some of them, and the red creeps aren't actually that damaging, you know? So it's not that bad. 
All right, enough, enough bitching from me. I just feel like it's it's neat to get my own initial sentiments out there, just so you know what you're getting yourselves into. But whatever. Electric and Earth. Well, Electric isn't an amazing option for the Chompers, but it'll take care of the Creeps, and eh, the Creeps can heal each other, so let's deal with them first. Air priority number one for right now. We can also stun lock one of the Chompers out, so they're really not a threat. Get him out of here. Throw a sword at him. Okay, and then we just do this to roll the dice and maybe we'll instantly kill them. Who knows? Nope. Of course not. Why would anything nice happen? And you now they're blocking. Quality. At least the mutant chomper that I'm still mocking can't actually heal himself. God damn it! Son of a gun. Okay. At least this is the last fight for this path. Hopefully. We didn't actually see what was behind the other skull door. There should only be maybe one or two more fights after this, depending on if the next room has enemies in it. Then after that, we're probably just going to be at the boss. So, we I've already done all of it. I, I keep dropping this. I pick it up, I put it on the table, and it falls off. I pick it up, forget it's in my hand, drop it on the floor. God damn it. It's just, a, it's just like a chip bag clip. I don't know why I need to keep smacking this thing around. Calm down, me. Okay, no more. Get a hold of yourself. More like get a hold of the chip bag. It's not even a bag, it's a clip. And that's why we equip No Legs with the cheese weapon. Randomly just winning fights that would have taken so much longer. And now the fight's over because we just have to slowly grind. It. Well, not so much slowly. He's pretty much dead. But now they can't respond to my actions anymore because we can stun lock him forever now. So that's fine. Anna sure is fun. <laughs> I shouldn't be using electric. What am I doing? And just like that, that's another fight right up on in the bank. Right in your pocket. I, can, I could just leave, actually, technically. Ooh, Elven Shield. Oh, traditional shield of the fairy folk. Okay, now there's just some feces again. Great. Mm, glad I'm collecting this. Fairy bomb, stone fist. Why is it stone fist? Why is the reference in that part of this? Oh, that's cool. That's nice. Unequip it. It's garbage. And now I guess we try to solve the other aspect. It's, it's like the dungeon. It's like... I still, still think this should probably be right. Oh, what, what? I can't, you son of a bitch, he's blocking me. I didn't think this was relevant. It's literally getting in my way. It's pointing up here. Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, it's only two waves. That's not too bad then. Oh, all right. Let's get back in lands. Okay. Wow, that cuts the waiting time down in half. That's fun. Now what are you two weak to? You weak to holy fire and a lot of kind of garbage. Just get him with a cosmic drive-by. Boom. And we'll just send in Mad App and temper himself up. We'll, we'll, we'll get him when we get him. Take a little bit of a time investment to initially buff up in that second wave. That's gonna fly by, maybe. Hopefully. Maybe I shouldn't lie to myself that much. It's not a great habit to be in. Now you need to 
fire. Yes, yes! That's one down. The bear is just waiting in the wings to be gunned down. Save that, actually. Holy. I can actually do holy for once. Wow. It's pretty rare for me to actually get that attack off. And have it be, like, an actual good option and not be a, I don't know, I don't have anything else for life to do, let's just do this, I guess. I mean, they're weak to holy. Oh, I need to catch these worms. I put them in some of my weapon. At some weapon at some time, so I guess I'll catch it. And the lime slime will die when the lime slime dies, so we don't gotta worry about that. Let's just hope the instant kill shredder doesn't kill them. Or if it does, I don't care. So, maybe. Rather apathetic either way. Well, and it's that question. Or that, what are you weak to? You weak to ice? Oh, yes, you are! Oh, he has a 70% resistance, which means, yeah. He's probably pretty resi resistant to it. Uh, hello, yeah. I don't have a name for these things anymore. I've already named all of the enemies. Once I put them in my weapons, the original enemy is gone, and I honestly don't care anymore. Because they're not my original baby. They're dead to me now. You're all imitative bastards, and I hate you. Oh. It's just not freezing. I don't see it. It's not happening. Ow. Okay, well, if you're gonna if you're gonna stop being difficult, then boom! Fully heal up that lime squid. Oh yeah! Oh, actually didn't because it's only half elemental. That's a lot more convenient than I was hoping. Fire. Huh. I don't know, I never think you can burn a water enemy. It's a squid. This thing's probably damp right now. But I get it. I guess it's lime, so it's not. I, I don't know. I don't know how squids work. I know how mammoths work. Mammoths work like that. Would not be able to tell you. Okay. One extra fight down. Now there should be one or two more fights before the boss. Hopefully. There we go. Anything back here? Anything cheeky? Yeah, it's exactly what it is. Anything else is sequestered away back in the bygone realm of give me this treasure chest? Alright, I did it. The King's God. Okay. Neat. Why did he got both? He got two weapons here. He's almost done. Oh, that actually looks pretty cool. Damn. Good on him, though, Lynx. Good on you. You finally made it there, kiddo. Gotta, gotta put points into this thing, of course. Gotta upgrade my stash. Got a nice stash going on. Got a big old stash of weapons, gold, and stash. And steroids. Nope! All right. Let's go tackle the final area and hope we'll be done after this. One more. And it's a three wave, so get ready. We're in for a little bit more tedium than we would have ever expected. Oh, thank you. That's all I can ask. And it's only good for meaty enemies that either are tanky, or do a lot of damage, or that can self-heal. But if we're talking about just general dudes like this that I don't gotta concern myself with, you just send a no legs and roll the dice that his weapon will randomly instant kill something. Plus he has better AoE damage than Anna can pump out anyway, so uh, yeah, it works. Uh, that checks out. That green creep should run away. Yeah, there he goes. 
Uh, it's another fight we don't need Ana for. Still good. This one's not too bad. These are really weak enemies. This is a good three wave. These are the kind of three waves we should be getting. Still doesn't make me happy to see them, but at least they're like mook enemies you can grind down real fast. There's at least fun in that regard. Thinking you can be cheeky and not actually instantly die because you have morale. You got another thing coming. Boom. And, okay, that's that's an enemy for uh, Natalie to lock down. Tanky does okay damage and can self-heal. So, yeah, we have every regard to lock that stupid chomper down. These dudes are obnoxious. Not to mention, the leg's also dying. Oops. Ooh, that's a free charge. And now he's not dying. Well, you can be as resistant to electricity all you want, my boy, but this curses everyone and just has such high base damage, I don't care. So that's just too damn bad. Just like that, there we go. Get him with a water attack. How would bomb work against these dudes? I just thought about it. And Lance hasn't used the Moab in a while. I mean, we do have dirt boulders, and I know they don't like bomb, but how about the rest of you? Or I could just do this again. Or I could do this. This is the best option. Except for when it doesn't work. Then it's a garbage option. Okay, a bomb is neutral, so that's that's a fine option. Kind of would have liked to use the laser beam, knowing that wouldn't have worked, but the... Uh, at least the green creeps are technically damaging each other, so whatever. You're giving me just free damage, sure. It's not like I'm gonna lose. Be as obnoxious all you want, I don't care. Keep now to keep defending. You can prolong the fight all you want. Your life is irrelevant compared to the Chomper. He's gonna die after you even if you guard it every turn. Or, you know, I do something like this. Maybe then that's not the case. Still alive, never mind. Good on him. Let's hope this is the last fight. We need to see what's coming up. We didn't get a... Actually, we did get a puzzle in the last one. I can't even say this area is specifically dedicated around puzzles. Because all of the areas have had an okay number of puzzles, so... All right, bye-bye. There we go. And I see no... It's another set of puzzles. Oh, boy. I love these things. These are the good part of the game. That's when we're having fun. That's when the fun begins. What are you... Oh, I, I pushed that. Okay. Hello. Okay. Let's get whatever I want, but not meat, eggs, or anything I actually like. I can understand going on a diet to cut down on your good old, like, oh shit, I'm, I'm a fat fuck, I want to lose this weight. I don't know why people deprive themselves of things they enjoy. And so says the fat man, I guess. Well, the fat son of a bitch is... I don't even need to worry about it, apparently. What do... What's my end goal here? Oh, I gotta push this thing places. Okay. Oh, okay. So I need to get this out of there first. How would I do that? What is, what really is supposed to be accomplished here? I don't, do I step in, do I? Oh, I stand there. Okay, I don't push that there. That's the thing. So we don't want to push that for right now. What we do want to do is do this. Uh, is 
there any way to push this up? No. No, I think I'm locked in. Yeah, I think I just... Me, me trying to fiddle with that kind of fucked that one up. I mean, I guess I'll just splonk this down for right now. We could go do the boss, but damn it, there's a puzzle. I gotta solve it, man. Puzzles are puzzles, and puzzles need to be solved. That probably just immediately fucked me up, because I can't get into this area now. So yeah, that's a loss. That'll probably be the last thing we do, considering it's just its own standalone section of the puzzle. So let's try to figure out this bit, huh? I mean, there's this, but it's just like, well, what do I do then? I want to get this pushed up, but I'm trying to make it so I can undo that process. So I can still push that to the left. I mean, let's just, let's just start with it and see where it takes us, you know? Maybe I can, like, extra die. Like, oh, yeah, I guess I could, I suppose. Yeah, I could just get it straight out of dodge. Oh, then I can't push it this up. Okay. So I can't do that either. I pushed it too far then. That's not going to work. Hmm. Push it to the left? Maybe? You need to push this down. I guess let's just do this. It's like we push that over there, we push this up, we do this section of the puzzle, boom, that one's done. And then this one's done. But now we need to we need to get the middle one, because if we can get the middle one, we're done, you know? So it's like I can't I can't get up there, so I need to push this left, which means I need to push this down, which means I need to get this the fuck out of dodge, it seems. Can I still do this? Actually, yeah, well, that was really easy. I kind of kind of got, like, overloaded for a second there. And then just like that, there's a shit ton of eyeballs. Oh, God. What do we got here? Gives the player haste occasionally. Ooh. My boy. I'm still probably going to take the chop. Actually, wait, no. That would just be, like... Yeah, I could see this being so good if something's weak to win, though. It's like, oh god, that'd be that would have been so good against the final boss in very specific situations instead of equipping the damned Razorback. But then again, this is premium, and I didn't need it. I, I never really even equipped the Razorback to begin with, so. Bleh. All right, enough of this place. It's dead to me now. Let's go fight ourselves a boss. Oh yeah. <clears throat> There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna comment on what we did to get down here. Why was feces the key? No. Oh. At least it wasn't the still beating heart of kittens. We got ourselves a uh, standard maid outfit. I think that's the joke at this point. We've literally gotten ourselves also a schoolgirl uniform. Oh, and great, it's an item using outfit. Good, oh, I'm totally gonna equip this. Fantastic. What are you, are you anything fun? No. Uh, well, God, no. You're optional. Uh, optional fights in a challenge area where I don't even get XP or gold? Ugh, garbage. Oh, you're not optional. I do actually have to fight. God. <sighs> you're all bastards. I'll give you that. Then I have to catch the boss after this. We're not even done. The fight's not over yet. Let me sit back. Sit up, sit cross-legged, sit down, sit in general, just fucking stop talking about sitting. What do you bastards weak to? Fire and non-elemental. Oop. And we're gonna follow that up with water? He does have a water attack, that's right. I always forget water is an element we can like interact with at all, so that's at least fun. Oop. Luckily these are just cats, so 
It's not really, not really. Okay, it got a little bit worse. They're not just cats. Those are some real big furry cats. Anna, we need you. Thank you. Okay, which one of you? Uh, the top one's more HP. He has a pretty decent resistance to both. This may not work too fantastic. It's not going to be a consistent stun or freeze. So we're going to have to hope that we can end this fight a little bit faster than normal. See, that's already the first one we didn't even get off. Great. And just like that, like, we're already almost done. <laughs> Don't even need a counterattack. You're just you're just doing this to just show off there, Lance. Did not actually need to do that. You're just trying to make him hurt at this point. It's a little bit sadistic, dude. Calm down. Dude, these aren't even cats at all. This is fucking false advertising here, jeez. This person. I could have gone for the instant death, but mage dogs can't be instantly killed. Panda bears are ungodly resistant to instant death. I'm just like, let's. Well, I'm gonna do it next turn, so let's just lower their defense because it's most assuredly not gonna work, and I don't want to waste the charge. So sure, whatever. Boop. Boop. And boom. And they should maybe potentially be dead next turn, maybe. Especially if you counter. Now revert your eyes, children, quickly! Ah! Oh no. Oh! Oh no! Well, uh, we didn't need him anyway. He's more of a nice benefit than actually mandatory. Just, 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 just get him. Get him with a poison, I guess, because that's what the mage dogs are weak to. Yeah, sure. And then yeah, and then you get this one again, and then it didn't work, and then mm. no, just, just, fuck, just fuck, stab these bastards right in the face. This guy's got some really good synergy of constantly making us invisible so we don't take physical damage and then the bears only do physical damage. Got a really good team uh, composition going on here. Credit where credit's due. You really knocked this one out of the park, didn't you? Boop. Eh. Still fire. Still uh, nothing else, actually. Poison. Okay. And then I'll die next turn, and then we can just kill off the other panda and we'll be fine. Boop. Alright. It's probably going to be actually almost a full episode this time. Fight us a boss, shall we? Another big cat nest. Does Matt have his... He does have his catching gear on. Anyone else have anything catching related? Natalie. And that's about it. Yeah, okay. Weapons, maybe? No, okay. So, that's all fine. Wait, has she gotten a new weapon that'll replace this one? Because... I've only had that equipped because it's the defensive one. That doesn't seem to still be much. I mean, it's this one. Kalan Kaladanda, but we already know that that has its own... Uh, let's just say cavalcade of issues, to say the least. Alright, let's just fucking save that shit, and time to go deal with another damn boss. Hello! Oh, you're spiky and...
Cobwell. Oh, jeez. Now it's a cursed tree. Great. Well, it's a boss, so I don't have to hold back. <laughs> what are you weak to, friend? A uh, hidden... The Telperion. Telperion. The hidden hideout of a ninja cat gang it attacks the powerful bio, dark, and bomb skills and gets two turns. So poison is your weakness. Not what I was expecting. It is a tree, but fire immediately comes to mind. But I guess a tree can't defend itself from poison, I suppose. And so, all right. Let's go. Cat bomber, sniper, and ninja can just kind of eat it right now. Who needs this the most? I think for this turn we're going to buff up and see what he can do and then we'll formulate a plan based around that. No Lake still has his instant death weapon on, so... If I ever do struggle, I may need to have him equip the riot gear again. I kind of forgot to change that. But because he has that equipped, anger surprise, that goes deep within the nest. He has ungodly high evasion right now, but you know, he does still get hit. Oh! Okay. So you're debuffing and status effect boss this time. All right. Well, I think Lance will be fine for this. we go, baby. How well are you to be able to be debuffed? You're incredibly resistant to it, but you're not immune. So that means I can do this. There goes your defense. There goes more of your defense. And we do this just to really guarantee he's gonna hit as hard as humanly possible. Boss fights sure are difficult in this game, if I do say so myself. Watch this! I did not do nearly as much as I was hoping. I mean, it still almost did a million damage. Not enough. We needed more damage. I am a perfectionist. He did like a third of his HP in one turn. This is a super boss that scales up to my level. Oh god, demonic words and evil spirits? Holy shit. Right, I need to tire its this thing again. More bombs and spot. They just Moab me, you son of a bitch. Uh, I need to weaken this thing right now. Okay. Can I even weaken and do all that nonsense? They're resistant to it, actually. Wow. Good on him. Unfortunately, you're you're saying that like you're resistant to a status ailment to Anna. V status ailment, lady. Nice try. Yeah, not gonna fly. You can still curse him just fine. That, that's cool, I guess. And it's like that he'll heal everyone, I guess. And now we're gonna just slowly build up advantage, because he's gonna be like He's actually not resistant to poison? How did you not get poisoned? How have you not been poisoned? What? That's like that's like the whole thing I'm going for right here. But, oh, okay. We're gonna have to weaken and curse this thing out the wall too, and then if I get a chance, I'll tire him. Yeah, the strategy's improved. We prepared many traps and weapons this time. They're still lonely cats, and there's nothing really to fear. Don't trap me, please. That's obnoxious. Still no poison, huh? Well, I mean, good for you, I suppose. Now let's get him back up and start having him regenerating, because he's if I revive him, he's going to not be quite up to snuff. Get another turn of weaken going. Why isn't it working? Why does he not have, like, decreased attack or whatever? Come on now, lower stats. We really want to lower his attack because he attacks twice, so any stat decrease I do get off is even more efficient, but 
It, it like it says minus magic attack and attack, but it just doesn't work on him for some reason. He's 80% resistant to it, but I don't I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Like it, that doesn't tell me specifically what it means. Is there only an 80% chance for it to work? Despite the fact that how that's worded, it should never work like that. I don't I don't know why. Because it worked on every other boss, even if they have been debuff resistant. So now my webcam's lagging more than usual. Great. I don't understand. It's just, I'm... Many questions that this game doesn't answer. A lot of its systems are so counterintuitive, it seems. And I guess I get bad luck. Oh, I don't have the fucking curse thing on anymore. Well, I can, I can do this. Didn't even curse. Oh, God, fuck. Just curse him. Come on. Oh, I should use the double shot. It's a much higher chance. Ah, oh, it works. Now lower his defenses, please. At uh, least make it easier to catch him. Yeah, it's gonna be more annoying than anything. It's, it's not actually that threatening. It's like a cake boss. Unless he's gonna do something absolutely ridiculous coming up, but I, I just don't really see that happening. So... Okay. You're weak to holy, huh? I mean, that gives good luck. I'm gonna save that for right now. You're weak to. You're weak to poison. That's right. Of course, you're weak to poison. Oh, I'm so silly. There we go. That's the poison we needed. Can we burn you too? Is, is that a possibility? Because I'll just go straight into burn. Oh. Of course I can. You're about to start taking so much damage. Man, they really gotta... They really kind of overhyped some of these premium bosses, but I know these are the easier ones. You haven't even blocked the bad ones yet. These are just super bosses. I've already fought these dudes anyway. You have 40... 480, half a million damage for free every turn. He has four status ailments, debuff stats, and then, like, on a turn or two, I'm gonna buff up Matt. Yeah, I'm gonna catch this thing. But there's no if, ands, or buts about it. I just need to give, uh, I just need to make him tired. I don't think I have anything else that can apply tired other than Natalie right now, so. We'll, uh, we'll deal with it for right now. Just recurse him, I guess. That's an long argument. Seems they have all agreed to die with honor. <laughs> Sounds about right. Oh, well, bye. That's not very nice. Yeah, but I need you to not do that. Is the pro God, fucking stop killing me. You little bastards. Uh, I only got, like, one or two more turns to do this, so let's just... Let's just do this. Let's just stop you from being a jackass, huh? If this doesn't work and I don't catch it, I'm gonna be hilarious if this is again the boss I have to catch off screen because I'm not gonna waste another like 20 minutes doing this shit. But, you know. Like, we send in Matt. We, uh. We buff him with good luck. And we see if we can catch him. I doubt it right now. I did it. I'm a winner. Uh, his name is Tulpa because he's a scary son of a bitch. He's also more of like a conceptual threat than anything. You kind of have to like go out of your way to make that actually be a problem. Curse tree. Yeah. Also, it's like demons, pure demons. Maybe. All right. That's the cat's down. Nothing ever good. Nothing ever good comes from cats. All right, well, that's that dungeon down. I hope you all enjoyed, because we're trying to get some sick-ass fucking loot. Get that mushrooms. Yeah. Got some steroids. All good. Got a... a oh, the cursed mask. Yo, let's go. That's not the good one, though. That's... Weapon is just a bit too big to be practical. Why is it a staff that gives me physical stats? We already have the knife. And shell armor. 
Okay. Well, yeah, here it is. Soul Crusher. I just threw another web, another monster into that. I saw it. It just flashed on by as I mashed through. Just threw that dude in the meat grinder. Eh. Defending gives enchanted. That could be amazing for some bosses. It's hard to see through this, but someone raised your attack power significantly. Yeah, this is the, hey, do you like to hit really hard? The mask. Did we get a skill? No. Fuck. Here's it. Here's the OG cursed mask. Time to do a stupid amount of damage with something like this. Like, watch the the increase. That's 300. It's a pretty big increase. Equip something like this being 900. You just equip the two of these together and bye bye hallway fights. Pretty much. I'm doing it. I'm actually. I wish I had money because I want to go buy the thing to finish upgrading this. It's just one dark matter. I also want to see what some of these look like. Oh, it's the scythe. They reworked it. They made it look different. Huh. And if you'll notice, it actually has better defensive stats. We have found... Uh, this doesn't look as good as the other one. This one is super bulky. I like the OG uh, staff. It ups her, actually ups her HP and defense by more. Like, she's losing 3,000 HP and about 20 of both protections. It's minor, but she also gains and loses evasion, but I don't really care. She also loses magic attack, but again, I don't really care. She just needs to stay alive through raw means rather than RNG. I'm gonna go buy myself a final upgrade for this cursed mask and then we're gonna have a grand old time. Yeah, buddy. We're already almost done, too. We're at least in the ballpark for the end game. We only have one more premium dungeon before we start getting to the really scary stuff. Oh, yeah. We got one more boss refight. You can kind of guess who it's going to be. It's going to be the worst one thus far. Get ready for excitement. Uh, which one of these is... I think this is the material shops over here. That it is. Give me one... Give me one dark matter, and there we go. Another 10% attack. Yeah, buddy. It's not the most massive difference, but it is 10% increased attack. That adds up. If you're buffing an item from 40% to 50%, it's still a 10% average increase. Let's go into our next premium dungeon tomorrow. The Crystal Caverns. What do I need for that? I need boots? Okay. If I remember correctly, I walked into there before, and they said, Well, you gotta put boots on the thing. I said, I don't know. I just put something there. <laughs> anyway! So, let's actually see what our new summon does before I like, move along. We have the Tulpa. Hits all foes with an incredibly powerful dark magic. Uh, they know that makes sense. I'm sorry, free XP farm, but you're not a boss. We have a Lin Lin and Tulpa. They're fun. All the bosses. So anyway... I hope you all have enjoyed. I hope you all have a good rest of your day. And... Peace.